This video lesson is all about the information on this CD, which you can download or which you can buy at my website, gindic.com. Okay, well, I have my C harmonica here. And this lesson is going to be about chugging and playing this chord-based rhythmic music. Here's an example of it, and then I'm going to get you so you're doing it. All aboard! Okay, well, I got a little carried away there. Might have had my moments, but that's a that's like a train chug, okay? And notice I'm not particularly out of breath. Maybe a little bit. <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm not really out of out of breath. It's about going like that without having to move your body, uh, like a very very light form of exercise. But let me show you. The basic thing you want to start off doing is getting a good chord at at holes one, two, three, four inhale and exhale. Notice I say inhale and exhale. And hear the resonance and the vibrato in each of them. A lot of times people, they don't know how to play good chords. A little tight in here. So this is like a, a real fundamental thing. And try clenching the harmonic in your teeth. Put this right here in the corner. And you can chug with the harmonica in your teeth or up against the old grill. And this gives you some, lo some looseness between your lips and the harmonica, which is what you really want for, for chugging and for, for getting a nice chord. Now, it's on the inhale, and we're at second position. So that inhale chord, your G chord, that's the one you accent. And then you exhale. And when you exhale, you open up your mouth or go around the side of the harmonica. And so only a little bit of the air goes into the harp or actually, or, or, or none because the is a sound and it's a rhythm sound and it's cool. Now let's divide it into um, into pairs. You do it once, and you answer it. That's a pair. So let's do uh, four pairs. Yeah, okay. Now let me count while we do the four pairs. Uh, well, actually, we'll do two groups of two pairs, so that'll be, we'll, we're doing two groups of fours, okay? And each group is a bar, a measure, um, so four, but... Okay, so you want to get comfortable doing that. 
and and it's this it's not <coughs> or or anything weird it's this <coughs> hear the inhale <laughs> now maybe you don't have a good vibrato yet uh, and it's hard to do on the inhale so the vibrato it's easier to do on the exhale uh, 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 uh. It's not in the mouth. It's not, or, or anything like that. It's uh, 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 machine gun. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, so, and then carry it over to the inhale. All right. So back to back to our particular exercise of of inhale. And, So that's the first sign of it. Okay, now we want to build up the speed. So we do that by kind of an illusion. By on that inhale, we're going to break it up into three pieces. Now notice I didn't say inhale three times. I said we're going to break it into three syllables. And the syllable is a ka ka, a ka ka. So we got a ka ka on the inhale chord clicking in our throat to create the ka ka and, <laughs> and notice that the, the, the second syllable, that ka, that's still the one that's accented. If you're going to sing, it would be do do do, and then you exhale in one breath and it lets all the air out of your lungs. So you're ready to inhale again in the position of power. Now the breathing, it's about this much. Okay, now the train whistle is at four and five, or three, four, five, six draw. Make your mouth big. If you can bend. I don't notice how I pull off, pull the harmonica out of my mouth. You can also slide in. Okay, so now let's do four patterns of Now you can take that pattern and do it all over the harp. You can take it and you can slide it into single notes. You can depart from it completely, but keep the rhythm going.
You can use things like rhythm pops, kisses. You can intermix it with, with melodies. Um, Now it's not necessary to go really fast. Like this is this is the burners, right? Okay, that's cool, but it's much more impressive when you've started slow and you've built up to it. And when you start there, I've noted from performance, it gets boring real quickly. But when we use it as something that adds drama, you know, like the, the train whistle. That adds drama, right? So just, ah. All aboard! And then if you start slowly and you go down to your pattern. Now that's not nearly as fast as I was going, but I'm in a context now. I'm telling you to start. And so it sounds fast. Okay, now, so you said building the drama, so going really fast isn't necessarily your, your immediate goal, but it was nice when I, when I built up the speed, uh, but it gets boring fast, you know, just, oh, that's so fast, that's good for about 30 seconds, you know, and then, and then what, go faster, oh, you can't, you've already gone too fast. Now, I like to alternate, get in single notes, for instance, instead of on the chord, go from two draw single note to two blow, and then and then um, alternate. This is kind of a cool effect, eh? Um, and I mix in the tongue blocking. So I say the tongue on the harp, doing the octave, and maybe just going back and forth between the octave at one and four, the octave at two and five, and the inhale there. 
basically be going <sighs> tongue hitting it twice. I'm actually hitting it once. So so then move move and exhale and inhale. So that's throwing tongue blocking and octaves into the mix, um, which obviously we're getting much more complicated than. But that's where it starts, and it's breathing to this intense, rinse, richly imagined rhythm. And you have to imagine it to create it, and this is a good place to start. Um, imagining what that train sounds like and imagining what what sounds dramatic and dynamic and then also working in the breathing and this exhale with the loose mouth and see I'm making myself dance give it danceability Oh, boy!